Yellowstone supervolcano with Category 8 eruption. Volcano super eruptions are coming sooner or later. And Dr. Michio Kaku claims that a Category 7 supervolcano eruption happens about every 1,000 years. That's his shocking warning. Now we have various supervolcanoes around the world. One of them is Campi Flegri in Italy. It's not the only supervolcano in Europe. We have another one in Germany. We know the beautiful lakes and mountains of Germany. Well, most of those are volcanoes and there's a huge supervolcano there. Also recently we've been having quake swarms on the west coast of England across the Isle of Man. I guess you didn't know the Isle of Man was a volcanic island. Well, it is. And just opposite onto the mainland of England, that whole coast is full of volcanoes. That's where we've been having quake swarms recently. They say that they're dormant, but volcanoes are volcanoes, and we have seen dormant volcanoes erupt. Now, those are so close to each other, they could be the same magma chamber and a supervolcano. We don't know, but we have many supervolcanoes around the world. And they could erupt sooner than later. Sean Martin Express UK, a volcanic super eruption is a matter of when, not if, the human race is lucky not to have experienced such a catastrophic eruption, but that luck may not hold out. This is what express, uh, the experts are warning. And let's remember the, a couple of videos before this one, we talked about the extinction having to do with the supervolcano eruption, the uh, Siberian traps for one, that did away with 90% of all life on Earth, animal and plant. They turned the uh, atmosphere into toxic gases. The water was poisoned nuclear volcanic winter from the ash clouds and it was amazing that any life remained at all. Supervolcano by definition is one which has had an eruption of magnitude 8, the highest and most volatile possible on the volcano explosivity index in the past. The US is a hot spot for supervolcanoes. We have also another one, Long Valley Caldera supervolcano which has the same magma body as Yellowstone has recently been found. With four currently located in North America. While Europe does not only have one, the Campi Flegre of Italy, it has more, as we said. Another one in Germany, and uh, I'm not sure at this point, I don't have the information at my fingertips. Campi Flegre is in Italy. A 2017 study from Jonathan Rogier, professor of statistical science, University of Bristol, found that a super eruption occurs roughly every 17,000 years. We're talking about a super eruption from a supervolcano. Every 17,000 years. The last super eruption came 26,000 years ago when Taupo, located in New Zealand's North Island, burst into life and it shoved 1,200 cubic kilometers of pumice and ash into the atmosphere. Professor Rogier's reasoning says we are overdue a super eruption and he said we are slightly lucky not to experience any. But some are warning that time is running out, calling it nothing short of a miracle that humans are still here. Also, journalist Brian Walsh the author of the new book, End Times, examines the existential threats to humanity, and he says it's a matter of when, not if. It's a matter of time, that is. Walsh wrote, sooner or later, and on a geological time scale at least much sooner, we will face a super eruption. And he goes on to explain, yet of all the risks we'll explore in this book, natural and man-made, it is the one for which we've done the least to prepare, that is, a super eruption. Volcanoes have caused mass extinctions on this planet before. In fact, they are the serial killers of life. We've been lucky. Our existence after 3.5 billion years of evolution is nothing short of a cosmic miracle, even if it was a miracle that had to happen, he says. 
but that luck may not hold. And he says there are 20 known supervolcanoes in the world which have the potential to cause a super eruption, including Yellowstone and Long Valley Caldera, both in the US, Toba in Indonesia and Ira Caldera in Japan. A super eruption could cause a dramatic climate shift which would affect humanity, obviously. The United States Geological Survey said such a giant eruption would have regional effects such as falling ash and short-term or years to decades changes in global climate. They would also affect the landscape of the planet, of course. USGS says such eruptions usually form calderas, broad volcanic depressions created as the ground surface collapses as a result of withdrawal of partially molten rock magma from below. The world's most powerful volcanoes, supervolcanoes that is, Number one is Yellowstone in the USA. Number two is the high threat volcano of California, Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano, which is uh, sharing the same magma body as Yellowstone. Valleys Caldera in the US, Lake Toba, Indonesia, Taupo, New Zealand, Iria Caldera in Japan, La Garita Caldera, USA, the Campi Flegri in Italy, Mount Tambora, Indonesia, Bike 2 Mountain, North Korea in China, Kiril Lake in Russia, Karimshina in Russia, Bennett Lake in Canada, Cerro Galan in Argentina, Pacana Caldera in Chile, Pastos Grandes in Bolivia, Mount Io in Japan, Kyushu, Japan, and we also have, that's 18, and I would say, of course, also the German volcano, it's a supervolcano, and there's a lot more that uh, perhaps uh, areas with volcanoes that are very close to each other, for example, in the northeast of the United States, around Maine and New Hampshire, and also across from the Isle of Man in England. There are areas that perhaps are not yet discovered that are actually supervolcanoes. Like Wawa Springs in the United States was a huge supervolcano. So these are maps, mapped supervolcanoes, where the biggest volcanoes are, which could end all life, huge, a huge threat to life. They've wiped out swaths of life before, and there's a serious possibility they will do so again in the future. Definition of supervolcano is one that has had an eruption of magnitude 8, which is the highest and most violent possible. This is Volcano Explosivity Index, VAEI. The U.S. is a hotspot for supervolcanoes, four currently located in North America. Europe has Campi Flegri and uh, perhaps even the one in Germany. The Germans consider it a supervolcano. There's another one in uh, Scotland that we recently talked about, which was a supervolcano in the Highlands, and possibly the uh, volcanoes, the um, volcano row across from the Isle of Man in England. But new findings suggest they could happen and erupt as frequently as. We're talking about a super eruption, uh, the uh, DVI-8, every 5,200 years, while the most likely time between super eruptions is now thought to be around 17,000 years, as we said before. And uh, the listing is, well, well known, proved 18 supervolcanoes. Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming is the most famous supervolcano and also has the potential to be the most powerful. It last erupted 700 years ago, well actually 640,000 years ago was the Super VI-8 uh, super eruption. But experts say it should blow every 1 million years or so. If the powerful volcano were to erupt, uh, it would uh, have a devastating effect on the immediate vicinity and uh, uh, two-thirds of the U.S. would be immediately made uninhabitable. The thousands of tons of ash spewed into the atmosphere would block out the sun creating a volcanic winter, or what's known as a nuclear winter. 
Now the Long Valley Caldera, it's another supervolcano. It's a very high threat volcano category by USGS and we're seeing a tremendous amount of quake swarms there because of the Ridgecrest earthquake south of that in California. It's a Long Valley Caldera supervolcano is also in the Walker Lane fault system which takes up 25 percent of the subduction pressure of the Pacific Plate subducting under the North American Plate. The San Andreas Fault takes up the other 75 percent and we have a tremendous amount of earthquake activity all along that area and at the Long Valley Caldera. Although they don't name it when they say we just had a quake, they say uh, Mammoth Lakes and they say Tom's Place and they say Mount Whitney uh, or the Pines, something like that, but they don't say Long Valley Caldera. They uh, talk about the uh, well, Mono Lake, for example, which is just north of it, or the Inyo Craters, which is just south of the actual pinpointing of the center of the Long Valley Caldera. But all of that is the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano, which is now uh, very active with earthquakes from Ridgecrest. Now, by comparison, the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption resulted in the release of 0.29 cubic miles, whereas Long Valley Caldera, which erupted 767,000 years ago, released 140 cubic miles of materials into the atmosphere. The Long Valley Caldera is one of the Earth's largest calderas, measuring about 20 miles long, 11 miles wide, and 3,000 feet deep. During the last 5,000 years, an eruption has occurred somewhere along this chain every 250 to 700 years, but usually only small ones to relieve the buildup of pressure beneath the surface. As we said, it's also on the uh, subduction zone of the West Coast. Campi Flegri, known as the Flegrin Fields, Europe's uh, supervolcano on the Mediterranean, located near Naples, Italy. Formation some 39,000 years ago saw lava and rocks thrown hundreds of kilometers away in what was the most violent eruption in the past 200,000 years in Europe. The most densely populated volcanic region in the world is there, with 3 million people living in the nearby cities of Na city of Naples. Scientists noticed that pressure was building up at Camp Le Fregory 2005 and again in 2012, they raised alert level from green to yellow, prompting stricter monitoring at the site of the volcano. It's an ancient volcano. It last erupted 1538, although it was only minor, and it lasted for eight days. Lake Toba, one of the world's biggest supervolcanoes in Sumatra, Indonesia. It last erupted 74,000 years ago, saw 2,800 cubic kilometers of material rejected, ejected into the atmosphere. Following the eruption, global temperatures plummeted for a decade, covering huge areas of Indonesia and India in the ash. The, an island in the middle of Lake Toba, Indonesia, slowly rising and is thought to be the sign of Earth. The Earth is bulging due to magma pressure below the surface. So Lake Toba supervolcano is again slowly rising. Now let me remind you that we did a video yesterday concerning the bottlenecking of human beings during that eruption that uh, did away with I think three quarters of life on earth uh, there was uh, it left the earth with from what the paleo geologist said with only about 10,000 people worldwide 10,000 human beings from that Lake Toba 74,000 years ago eruption I was shocked when I heard that I was shocked 10,000 people worldwide, they call that bottle, bottlenecking. It's called bottlenecking. Some people uh, went through the bottleneck and survived, whereas the others did not. And that's how bad Lake Toba was at uh, 74,000 years ago. Then you have the Taupo, supervolcano located beneath the surface of Lake Taupo in the middle of New, ne New Zealand's North Island. It first began erupting 300,000 years ago and has been quiet since then. Taupo is responsible for the most recent supervolcano eruption, bursting into life around 
26,500 years ago, and it shoved uh, 1,200 cubic kilometers of pumice and ash in the atmosphere. And since then, there have been 28 smaller eruptions here. Separated in time between 50 and 5,000 years showed just how unpredictable volcanoes could be. This is on Express UK on the supervolcanoes by Sean Martin. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.